tripod like just fell apart. Hilarious. We good. What's up, everybody? You might get knocked down. They might even say you're crazy. Get out your comfort zone. It's what you have to do. So take a leap of faith and jump as far as you can. And when you look around, look how high it's soaring. Jump, jump. Y'all, get on this live right now and say what's up. Let me know where you're from. What's up, everybody? I'm Lakeisha Michelle. Hi, YouTube. Hey, Facebook. What's up? It's day two. CEO Stylist. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hey, what up? What up, Ray? Y'all, go follow. What is it? Torgano TV on YouTube. Go follow Raymond Torgano on um, Instagram. Dude is dope. We got the same vibe. He's like my brother from another mother. Hey, we about to get into this business, though. Let's go. I'm going to give you guys a second to get on. Get on. Say what's up. Say what's up. There you go. I see you guys coming on. Show you the live viewers. I'm gonna give you guys a second to get on. We're doing it in an evening this time. All you gotta do. See, it's all up to you. So listen. What am I doing my water? I just lost it. I'm give you guys a second. Say hi, hi, and Trinette, what's going on? When the beat done, we going for it. I'm so excited to be teaching and sharing. I love hanging out with you guys on the internet. I feel like I know so many people. What's up, Zaria? Hey, Toy. Toy. Toy, what's up, Raimi? Hey, guys. Yo. Ooh, we can't do Bruno. YouTube and Facebook are shut me down. Hey, guys. So, what's up? If this is your first time watching, I am Lakeisha Michelle. I'm so excited to be sharing um, my, my, my inspiration, my... Um, my my motivation the thing that gets me excited and pumped up the thing the tips the curriculum the the core principles and factors that indeed helped me to um grow my salon business hi hey everybody I see you guys joining on i know it's the evening we normally do morning i think i'm a morning person so no there's no thing i like to get up and get to the money and to the information um but a lot of you guys request me to do evening so we're gonna see how it goes I like mornings, so we'll probably go back to mornings, but I'm excited to be here with you right now, wherever you are. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for, um, you guys have given so much love to the CEO project. So I'm really, really, really excited to keep going and keep sharing. So hopefully, um, you guys got to get to your homework because yesterday we did have homework about writing your vision and going deep into that. So let me pull up everything that we went over yesterday and then we'll piggyback off of that this is called the ceo stylus what's up sharonda hey guys i know you guys are getting on late this is called the ceo stylus and it came about um just because i realized that as a hairdresser sorry i'm such a diva right now with my little spoon and gold cup but your girl needs tea i am performing all week and i need hydration and anyway, so the CEO stylist came about because um, you should be good. You, can you hear me? Can you see me? You guys, can you hear me and see me? It's not playing. I think it is. Maybe you should refresh your screen. I think we're good. Um, anywho, the CEO stylist came about because 
I was just frustrated um, with the the uh, the amount of people that didn't have the information that I had struggled to figure out about how to grow a business, particularly um, your salon business. Yes, to both. God, you good. You can see me and hear me. So I just I'm so passionate, and I've been to class after class after class just to go um, because my coaches and mentors are in like different fields, but. I was just like, man, I wish every hairdresser could see what I've seen. I was blessed enough to travel the United States with L'Oreal, literally all expenses paid, got a stipend every month, and they showed me the ins and the outs of the beauty industry. There wasn't a thing that I didn't experience. Literally, I got to see what people would see in 20, 30, 40 years. I got to see it in one year. My mentor, Nicholas French, like the godfather of hair, like the guy who was Vidal Sassoon's protege, took me to his home and look, we did hair, we do hair. Like to this day, that's a relationship that I have. So just from where they make products, riding with sales distributors, going to corporate meetings of the presidents of these companies. And I'm like, there's so much business happening. And as a hairdresser, we think that you get out of school and you work behind the chair and you know, you kind of like, you want to make enough to just be able to go on vacation, take care of your family. But there's so much more. I was invited to meetings where you had to be a million dollar salon and up to even go. And I didn't see, I was just like, why doesn't everyone have access to this information? So this is my passion. It's, it's, it's something that I am obsessed with and in a good way. And so I'm, I'm committed to spreading the knowledge. And the CEO Stylist is a private course, a business course for hairdressers. But um, what I do is uh, before we go into the, pri the, the course that is a private paid course, which my students, I'm so excited. They're getting money results. Their numbers are going up. They're learning marketing. They're learning YouTube. They're learning to get out and have the proper conversations that lead to cash. We're going over all of that, right? Yay. You want to know about that? Inbox your girl. But um, what I love to do here is just explain like how we get here. Because some of you guys did what I almost did. I almost started my career without a vision. And guys, you hear it. I don't care what religion you're in. I don't care who you serve and worship. Everybody knows without a vision, my people perish. If you really break that down. Hi, guys. If you really break that down, what that means is that if you don't know where you're going, you are not going to get any results. You're going to be unfulfilled. Vision without a vision, like you just all over the place. Trying this, trying that, you're at work, you're not satisfied, you in a relationship, there's no set. Like, you have to have a vision for your life. Vision gives you such a narrow road, it gives you such a narrow focus. And then it also dictates, it dictates what you allow to come into your life. I love it. Darcy says, you're amazing, and I was your teacher a million years ago, so I know I love you, Miss Young. I have always loved you, I still love you, it was such an impact in my life, it's amazing how um, I mean, teachers are insanely amazing and important. I cherish you for the relationship we had. You taught me so much and you saw so much in me. You looked past me, so thank you. Um, anyway, gotta have a vision. And she was, she, you had a vision. I remember you invited me to that program and like all these different things. So guys, vision is important because vision allows you to not be all over the place. Because when you're really crystal clear on where you're going, you don't do everything. You don't have to be worried about distractions and the shiny object syndrome where you literally like take a course and then you take another course and you take another course and you just all over the place. Why? Because you have to pay attention to your vision. If you know where you're going, you can align everything. It's not just about taking courses when you're in your business and you're dealing with your clientele. Your vision dictates your clientele. Your vision dictates where you live, where you work. Your vision dictates where, who you dating. Your vision dictates every what kind of clothes you wear your vision dictates the kind of furniture that you buy your vision dictates everything your makeup like literally your vision dictates your fingernail pop like that's how i need you guys to view a vision because it's if you don't view it that way you're gonna find yourself wavering and then you look at someone like a beyonce or a michael phelps or somebody that we love athletes and musicians so they're easy to catch on to right but you look at somebody like a Vidal Sassoon, the guy who made hair famous, right? He was so committed. He was such 
OCD. Like I've been able to be around all the people that he's trained, right? Not all of them, a lot of them. And it's like the, the dedication, the eye, when it doesn't match, whatever the, if what you have doesn't match, it's like, psh, it doesn't, it, they nix it and they get back to the vision. Everything they do aligns with vision from the way that they dress, the way that they walk and talk, the hairstyles that they do, everything aligns with vision. So I need you guys to get in, get to get, you got to do a pulse check. Yesterday was all about doing a pulse check. Hey, Secunda, yesterday was all about doing a pulse check. Is my life in alignment with my vision. For some of you, you let me know that you didn't have a vision. And because of lack of vision, you're burned out, you're tired. Guys, I am here to help hairdressers who are tired of feeling like it's a hustle. Let's turn your hustle into a business so that you can see it grow and get to that life vision. Because hair is such a gift and it's such a blessing. And the way that I see this industry, is that we should start, we have a vision, we give it five to 10 years or whatever, put your number on it, because depending on what you want out of life, but you, you max out and when you are fully maxed out at that level one, then you go to level two, you max out, you be high demand, you, you max out, then you go to level three, you max out. And the whole thing is like level one, for me, was getting mentorship. So I traveled, I, I didn't make money, like they gave me a stipend, but like I, I didn't work, um, and do anything. I, I was focused on mentoring and, and being under people who knew more than me. I'm, I live my life that way, right? This morning I woke up with a millionaire. Like I was like, this is amazing. My millionaire mentors. I get to be with them and like and just be at their beck and call, even though they don't even have me do half the stuff I used to do for them anymore. In my mentorship stage, I just love to do it because I need people that are smarter than me, richer than me, better than me all the time around. But I literally, for level one for me, I, I spent that time in mentorship. And I got all the knowledge until I could regurgitate it without even thinking, right? And then in level two, I'm like I'm taking a leap. I'm getting in here. I got to max out this chair. I blew my chair up until the demand was insanely crazy. And level three, it's like, how do I take this and maximize it even more? Because now that I'm in demand, I, there's other, when you're in demand, other opportunities they present themselves. Some of you guys are just searching for get rich quick schemes, trying to come up on a thousand, trying to come up on this, trying to, and it's like a hustle. But when you're passionate, when you have a vision, when you're operating in your, in your work and you are like so clear on who you are, who you're not, what your business is and what it's not, and you are maxing out every level, every level, then opportunities just come. And the whole thing about opportunities is there's no lack of ideas or opportunities. This what I'm teaching is not new. There's somebody else that's got a business. There's somebody else who does, right? But when you max out and you're fully all in and your vision is clear and you're committed and you're on fire. Listen, when you are, look at my shirt, life, when you are on fire for what it is that you do, for your mission, for your vision, the opportunities, just they just literally you look up and go, holy cow. You don't have to know. Some of you guys are like, I don't know. No, 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 no. You don't have to be like, oh my God, this is the thing. And this is, you need to have something more than a dream. A dream is I want. I want to be a hairdresser. I want to have a business. I want to make money from the internet. I want to start a class. I hope one day I can teach from my couch at home. I hope that I can travel the country. I hope one day I can. That is a dream. And while it's okay to dream, please know that you're not gonna get there on just a dream. You have to have a vision. So when you refine that, to get your vision statement, which we're gonna talk about today. Your vision statement needs to be so freaking clear. Good morning, good evening, I mean, I say good morning. Your vision statement needs to be so clear. Literally, it goes from I hope to be a hairdresser to I am a confident, masterful hairdresser that empowers women all over my community to live in their fullest potential unapologetically, feel beautiful from the inside out with my products, my services, my courses. That's a vision. That is a vision. It's deeper. I do this. I am this. I am going here. 
It's not, I just hope it happens. I wish it happens. No, make it happen. And let me tell you guys something. Your vision, if it doesn't scare you or stretch you, it's not big enough. You guys hear it, you hear it, you hear it, you hear it. But if your vision isn't big enough, if your vision doesn't make you nervous, if your vision doesn't make you say, how the hell am I going to do that? For me, how am I going to impact 75,000 hairdressers? I have no clue. Like, I don't know when that, I'm not going to put a timeline on it, but my goal is to get 75,000 hairdressers into entrepreneurship behind that, taking that chair and maxing it out, taking that chair and maxing it out. And guys, it sounds like a dream. It sounds like a hope and a wish, but actually I have a strategy on that, right? But my vision is so clear. So when opportunities come, I know what aligns. So today we're going to talk, we're going to go deeper. Yesterday's homework was getting, writing out your vision, writing out your vision for yourself. What kind of life do you want? Where will you live? What car will you drive? Where will your kids go to school? Where do you see yourself? What is that ideal life that you think is supposed to just fall out of a magazine? What is that ideal life for you? What is the ideal life for you? And really get quiet, really get like, don't, be scared to say the things that come to your mind first. If you feel like it's too lavish, don't worry about it. Write it down anyway. Getting quiet. Yesterday's assignment was about getting quiet and really hearing your heart. What's in your heart? What kind of life do you really want? Don't be sorry for it. Don't feel like it's too big. Don't feel like it's too outlandish. What kind of life do you want? Guess what? You can have it. I told you yesterday, and I'll say this till, I, till I'm done and can't breathe. Everything that I have now and I've been able to achieve, not that I'm like, oh my God, you should be like me. But the things that I've wanted and the things that I see in my life now, I'm just like, wow. It was literally just, I was like, I will do this. You ever walk past something and you're like, I'm going to do. You know, you have a certainty. You don't know when. Some la ladies, let me just, let's break it down. Some, I have a friend who literally liked this guy and she was like, we did not even know him. Literally didn't know the guy. And she said, I'm going to get that right now. That's, that I'm about to claim that. Literally, she was so clear. And I just thought it was so funny. I'm like, girl, you crazy, blah, 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 right? She was so intentional. She was so clear. She had a vision. It wasn't a I hope, I wish, maybe, one day. It was literally, I'm about to get that, holla back. And this might be a crazy example. But guess what? They be kicking it. So, guys, you have to be specific. And don't worry about the how because the how will figure itself out. The how will figure itself out. So yesterday's homework was all about writing out your vision for your life, writing out your vision for your business, and then we got deep, right? I asked you to go a little deep. Hi, Brandy. Hi, Horace. I asked you guys, hi, Victoria. Hi, Shonda. Hi, M. Gardner. Hey, guys. So I asked you to, what's up, Derek? What's up, Cindy? What's up, Kanijik? What's up, Yasa? Yeah, I'm probably messing up your name. Write the vision and make it plain. Right. Kashel, what's up? Latanya, Misty, Shaquita, Keith, Kim, Ramey, Toya. Hey, guys. So listen. Yesterday was about getting your vision for your life. It was also about getting your vision for your business. And it was about asking, answering these three columns. I asked you to get a sheet of paper and make three columns. What about your business do you love? What do you love right now about your business? The truth is some of you guys don't like anything that you're doing right now. That's okay. Write it down. It's okay because we get to work through that. And so the next thing. The next thing is about what you like. Like, what do I really, what do I enjoy? What do I like in my business? What do I love? What do I like? What do I enjoy? And then you got another column and it's like, what can I not, can, and can I not, it's probably not proper, right? I don't want to know more. What do I want to get rid of? What don't I want to see? What is there happening in my business right now that I don't want another day? Hi, Kim. Thank you so much. Hi, Brandy. What? Hey, Misty. So really answering the question of what in my business 
do I not want to do another day of? You guys, do you realize this? A lot of people go to work every day. They never ask themselves. We act like we have to, we act as if like we're obligated. My friend tells me all the time, I, negative clients, right, Kim? I love it. We're going to dig into that. So listen, my friend tells me all the time, like, I want to quit my job. I want to quit my job. And I'd be like, oh, I hate my job. Every time you talk, they, they know I'm positive, right? I love when positive people talk when somebody's trying to be negative, but they think I'm like super positive all the time and never have any emotions. So, so they try to say something negative in a positive way. It just doesn't connect. Hilarious. So, but for me, when it comes to work, one thing that is in my DNA, if I don't like what I'm doing, I don't go complain to my friends. I don't make a post on Facebook. I don't wait for my corporate job to change and come up with an epiphany. I don't do any of that. What I do is do so. I change it. I'm in control. Y'all write that down. I control the destiny of my life. I'm in control. I am in control. Write that down. I design my life. Write that down. I am in control of my life. When you understand that, like you're so, people think I'm carefree. Keisha, you just don't care. Keisha, you, have, you don't have kids. You can do this. You can do that. Let me tell you something. My mentors had kids and they did it, right? They did the same. They took the same steps. They had the same fears of not being enough, not feeling like they're going to be adequate or have the money, but they took the leaps of faith anyway. And so it's not about your, what you have, kids and all that kind of stuff. It's really about your mindset. And your recognition of the fact that, write this down, I am in control. We are allowing someone or something to take control. And you are in the control. You design your life. Literally, you can design your life. It's creepy when I look on my Pinterest board and then I look around my house and I'm like, oh, that's on my Pinterest. Oh, that's on my Pinterest. Oh, that's on. Like, it's creepy. You don't have to wonder how. When I be on Pinterest, I'm so intentional. I pin it and I'll be like, that's going to be me. Boom. And I just come on back to reality. And I just go by my day. You have to understand that you're in control. And so I ask you to go into your business and write the things that you love, like, and can't take anymore. Because you have to actually look at that. Step from behind the chair and look at your business and say, what's happening here? Come up 10,000 feet, look down at the, at the chess game and say, what's happening? What are, the, what are my players doing? What's going on? Some of you guys are not. You're going to work and you're just caught up in it. Some, how, how many of you, how many of you, you can heart or comment me. How many of you have actually went to work from January until now and you're just in the grind? You're in the grind. You haven't stopped to check the pulse of your business. You're not looking at your numbers like you should be. You haven't checked and looked at your customers like you should be and make sure you're a, you have the right client attraction system. How many of you are outside of your business? Kim. Kim says me. Somebody let Kim know she's not by herself because we all do it. Kim, you're not the only one. Thank you for being honest. Like, how many of you have just been working from January until today and you're just in the grind? Feels like a hustle. There we go. Another one. Not alone. Thank you, internet. Like, listen, aren't you tired of that? Aren't you tired of feeling like, oh, uh, uh, stress? My, my, I'm so into my little terms that make me so happy. Money flows to me easily and freely. I do all of the work that I love with grace and with ease. I love it. Shonda says, hand up. I love it. You guys, nobody's alone. We all go through the same stuff. You don't go through it by yourself. So, today... Hopefully you got into the homework. If this is your first time, check out the video from day one on the Facebook page or on the YouTube. Um, and you can go to the CEOStylist.com and get on the email list. And listen, guys, I love it. You guys are commenting. I love it. Listen, you're not by yourself. And if you haven't done the homework, it's really good to do it in order. Figure it just literally yesterday was about just brain dumping what you call a brain dump where you just literally dump everything that you hear out of your mind on some paper so you can actually take a pulse of what you're thinking, what you're feeling, what you're wanting. OK, so you got your vision for your life. You wrote about where you want to live, how you want to be, who you want to be, what kind of car you drive, what kind of vacations will you take? What kind of like relationships do you have? Like what is the, like all of those things when you close your eyes, I get so excited because I'm like, oh, I see my future. When I close my eyes, I see my future every single day, okay? So 
you need to know your vision to where it's like when you close your eyes, you see it. When you sleep, you're dreaming it. When you look at your Pinterest board, it's there. When you look around your house, pieces of where you're going are here to remind you. Okay? And so then you want to look at your business and just take a pulse check. For those of you who have been working nonstop, the reason why things just feel like a hustle instead of a business is because you're so busy in the business that you're not coming out of a technician and being the CEO. A CEO literally is steering the direction it steers the direction of the company. So as a hairdresser, you are the CEO, you are the technician, you are the manager, you are the bookkeeper sometimes, you are, you are so many times, you're customer service and HR, you're all of these things, okay? So there needs to be systems in place. If you, if you don't have them, then it just, it's a hustle, it's like a side job. And I don't know about you guys, but I, if I, even if I had to do the salon forever, it will be with grace and with ease. Even before I close my salon down, just I close it so that I can just work from the internet and travel and work on my music and use that to fund my music. Like literally, I create my life that I want. Everything is stress free. Um, my everything is good. And so, the, and I want to get this message out. That's my vision. And so the cool thing is that once you start working on the business and you get systems in your business and you have numbers to measure every single thing that you're doing it be, it's not a hustle anymore hairdressers we have this hustle mentality and it's i'm down with hustling i'm a hustler like i, I get it i will do what i have to do to I, I do it right but i want to run a business and i don't want to feel like i'm robbing peter to pay paul i don't want to just live off of my salon check I don't want, I'm like, I literally got tired. I was burned out and it wasn't enough information. So the CEO stylist is all about that. So now that you've gotten a vision and you know, you're looking at your business and you're looking at what you love, you're looking at what you like, you're looking at what you cannot take anymore. I want to start today off with talking about the thing that is going to push that vision into reality. I'm going to talk about the thing that's going to push the vision into reality. In order to see your vision through, it's going to require you to have an insane amount of discipline. And I, you guys may have heard me say this before. This may be your second time watching it. I, I, it's cool. Like, because I, sometimes you have to watch and hear something 100,000 times before it becomes like your DNA. Likes, hearts, thumbs up. Share the stream. Give the information. Don't keep this a secret. Thank you. Like, and don't be quiet. This ain't just a monologue. I ain't Jesus. I'm I, like, this is, I'm not on the mountaintop. I need you guys to dialogue with me. Talk back, talk back. Let me know that you hear me, that you understand if you have a question. Okay. So listen, today we're going to talk about discipline and your vision. Because once you understand where you're going to go, once you understand where you're going to go, you have to be so anal. And the thing about the hairdressing industry is that we're just kind of cast out into the ocean and we just like whatever some people on ships some people on yachts some people on little canoes some people on floaties trying to stay up like everybody's in this massive ocean that covers the entire planet everybody's in different boats some people reach back and save somebody on the floaty some people don't like it's just every man for himself everybody's hustling cheap some people some people like you got to think about hairdressers if you didn't grow up reading books, if you didn't grow up with, depending on how you came up, do, when the last time you sat in your salon chair and somebody said, let me see if you got a felony? Don't worry, I'll wait. Don't worry, I'll wait. When is the last time somebody said, let me check your drug records? Don't worry, I'm going to wait. I'm going to chill, I'm going to wait on that thing. When did somebody tell you, when, you, when they sat in your chair, excuse me, I need to see like your college you know degree what where's your ged what uh have you ever been in the are you drunk or high right now <laughs> listen don't do that this is this litter and they let you touch their hair they let you cut it relax it chemically treat it they don't ask you for any credentials they go off of what you say how you look your work that you do on other people so if you really understand the power that you possess, literally, you can be on top of the world. You can live the life that you want. And listen, success is relative. Whatever is successful is for you. Okay? So I'm not talking, I'm not trying to sell you no pipe dream. 
some of you like like my favorite story about well something that was just it was close in my community where where she goes I keep I hear gunshots my vision is to get out the damn hood mm. like it's possible someone in my group made a declaration this week my vision my goal for this year because we have deadlines we go ham right and they were like you know what my vision is to get out of my corporate job by January 3rd by December 30th and it's like boom now we have a now we know we have a very narrow focus so then it was so easy for us to support her how will that happen she it was so easy for her to jump into our membership area get the tools and just do the work and map it out and use our support and energy to make sure that she stays on track discipline is key to getting your vision discipline is key write that down i must have discipline okay and the thing about discipline is that it's there's so many forms of discipline but we're talking about self-discipline you have to be able to govern yourself and operate as if the president was watching you when no one's around when you're doing your client's hair thank you for the hearts and likes you have to be able to govern yourself as the ceo when you're managing your finances you have to be able to govern yourself when that customer starts to talk crazy and you want to strangle them you have to be able to govern yourself when you had a long night and you come to work and you still have to give 1000 percent you have to be able to govern yourself if you work in a salon that is an unhealthy environment you have to be able to govern yourself if the night before you spent it fighting physically with someone abusive you have to be able to govern yourself in your environment if the night before you spent the time taking care of a loved one who's sick and it's overwhelming and it's stressful you have to be able to govern yourself at work like a ceo like a million dollar ceo even if the night before you slept on someone's floor and you only have a few dollars and you only have a few clothes and you wash it and you make it look the best and you show up with a smile and you give them everything that you have with everything that you got no matter how little that's being self-disciplined how do i know because that was me that's my story i did it anyway with no whatever state i was in i did it anyway i didn't have money for clothes I didn't have money for, I just washed the same stuff. I grew up old school. We had to hand wash our clothes. So I was like, cool. At night, I just wash it, hang it up. Had some little cheap $3 makeup. Boom, put it. I went and act according to my vision, even though I didn't know how to get there. I didn't know how it was going to happen, but I knew the life that I wanted. And in order for me to get that life, I got to start now. So many hairdressers. Keisha, I'm going to get with you on that class. You know, when I get my money right. Keisha, I'm gonna get with you and I get, I'm gonna get with so-and-so. Listen, you ain't got never buy nothing from me. Get with somebody and stop with this when I get my money right. It's never gonna right be right because you don't have the proper habits and tools. So how about sacrificing the way you do for that man when you want him to come over, the way you do for those kids that want something expensive that you can't afford, but you get it, you find a way to give it to them anyway because you think that that validates you as a good parent versus the conversations that you have, which really are the things that will last and make you a good parent okay like all the, the there's so much that you want i see some people living in the hood broke as hell next you know they had a concert that i look online the tickets cost 300 dollars. yo i thought you was broke i see your family member say keisha let me have some money i look online all you do is smoke weed how did you buy the weed that's what i want to know you want my money but you have money to go buy weed we have resources there is no lack of resources what there is a lack of is self-discipline so in your business and in your personal life you're one person so you don't get you don't have to like try to live one way over here and one way over there you get to live the life that you want and everything gets to play like i get to go to work and be who i am i get to sing at work and do teach hairdressers i get to do both because of my self-discipline okay i am spending the weekend literally spending the weekend singing to entrepreneurs from all over all over the world literally all over the world international people from everywhere i get to sing to them 
This morning, I got to speak to them and teach them the things that I learned from growing my business. And then on the ninth, I get to teach more gladiator, global leader, amazing women my knowledge. And I get to sing to them. I get to do both. I had the discipline before I ever got the stuff. I had to make sure that my mind was aligned. In our industry as hairdressers, there is a poor mentality. There is a lack mentality. You think so. And when people, and here's another thing. I be wondering, do y'all listen to me? Because I don't know how many times I said, there, there's no such thing as I ain't got it right now. I've seen people that were sleeping on floors go get it. I see, I've been that person, first of all. Second of all, I see people who call me on Monday and say, Keisha, yo, I don't have it, but I'm going to be back. And they hit me up on Thursday like, damn, I did it. And I made some extra. How bad do you want it? A lot of us are walking around waiting for change to fall out the sky, waiting for Jesus to bless us, waiting for a sign, waiting for this. And God is telling you, girl, guy, I gave you a mind. I gave you the power to think. God is in me as me. So all I got to do is tap in and change. Literally, whatever I don't like, I can change. I don't like my financial income status. I can change it. I don't like where I live. I can change it. I don't like the things that are coming out of my mind. I can change. Literally, I can change it. And the best part about the world today is anything and everything you want to know is on the internet. Okay? So, so, so guys, the question really is what are you willing to sacrifice? And it's not just so you can buy my class. Do I sell courses? Yes. Do people join and get results? Yes. We have so much fun. It's exclusive. It's positive. We don't take negative Nancy's. We are all game changers. If you ain't trying to change your life, you can't sit with us. But the way that you change starts with your mindset. You have to have a clear vision and you have to have self-discipline. And you have to have your self-discipline before there's ever anything in sight. I have notes and I'm always off my notes because I'm like, I get so excited. So listen, vision must push you. It must, I'm sorry, and I don't know if I like the word push or pull. It must pull you. I think your vision should pull you. It should pull you in. It should suck you in. It should be like a drug. You want more. It should be like that good boyfriend or that good girlfriend. You be like, I gotta have some more of that. It needs to be like that, okay? It needs to be good. It needs to be good. It needs to pull you, make you nervous, make you scared, and make you want some more. You ever met somebody, you be like, oh, they make me nervous, but I like them. I'm going to come back and go sit by them. I like them. You need your vision to pull you in. If it doesn't excite you, then what are you doing it for? And you guys might say, how does that relate to salon? Because it does. Trust me. We're going to wrap it up. We're going to wrap it all in. If you're just going to work every day, you work from January to May the 3rd, you just working, and you hope for something to change, you need to be in the CEO stylist course inbox me if you want details right but we're not there yet but this is all about figuring out what is the life that you really want because the industry is a billion dollar industry and it can give it to you everybody should be a minimum six figure stylist period point blank if you're doing less than six figures that there's something wrong that can be fixed newsflash it can be it can be fixed it really can it really 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 can really the key to all of this vision talk, the key to all of this vision talk, you must have self-discipline. Must, must inflict discipline upon yourself. So listen, when you're disciplined, you start to attract, like, can I just give you like a small example? Discipline attracts people. When you're disciplined about who you are, where you're going, when you're intentional and you literally live a certain, when you, vision will dictate how you walk, how you talk, what you listen to, who you hang around, how you are at work, how you handle customers, how you master your craft. Discipline and vision dictate those things. And then people are attracted to that. Let's, let's take, for example, I won't even use my, you take someone like Anthony Cutts. Never met the guy. I always see his videos everywhere. People, you know why? This dude was disciplined before anybody ever knew him. He was working on his craft. He didn't wait until he was the famous Anthony Cuts, right? He was disciplined in the small things. He mastered all the steps. Not only did he master short hair, long hair, makeup, dude like got, he understood, the, understood what the client wanted and he was disciplined enough to duplicate and give results back to back to back. He also was disciplined enough before he ever got to certain points to still act and carry himself and do the type of work that would get him to what now probably 
And, and guess what? You no, no, Most of the times when you talk to people that are like, you know, internet famous or real life famous right now, they go, I never imagined it would be this great. But you got to imagine something. So, so, so I, I, I am begging you. I am begging you to imagine today what kind of life you want. And then look at your business. Will my business give me the life that I want? And if it won't, let's have a conversation, right? So listen, vision controls where you're going. Once you know where you're going, you know what roads that you won't take. So let me break it all the way down to the salon, because this, this applies to life and to your salon. We're one person, this is all, it's, it's one, you're one. It goes everywhere. But let's break it down to the salon. So for me, in the salon, I looked at my vision, and I looked at my business goals, and I looked and I said, hmm, this vision don't match what I'm doing right now. Like, this, none of this stuff, the business don't match the vision. The, none, of, none of this matches. Something's got to change. I'm not going to dumb down my vision and the things that I want. So I must change my business. With my knees trembling, with my teeth clattering, clamoring, whatever the word is, I literally had to change my business. It scared the crap out of me. I had to do something drastic. Had to change my environment. I changed my state. I changed everything drastically because I am committed to my vision. And I knew that if I just made the jump, took the leap of faith, that's why I sing the song, Act Like a Success. Act like a success and think like a success in order to become the best. Like in order for me to be great and get better and become the best at what I was doing, I had to be willing to be self-disciplined enough to look at my business day in and day out and adjust my actions. And when I started to adjust my actions, the people that I wanted and needed, some of them I didn't even know I needed showed up. Oh, I was like, oh my God, I didn't even know I needed you. All of a sudden, my ideal life was coming together. My ideal clients were coming to me. Everyone was excited about what I was doing. And I wasn't trying to be like famous. I just wanted my little corner of the world to pop up. But I realized that I, I wasn't self-disciplined in so many ways. And I was not working on my business. I was just in the hustle. Day in, day out, day in, day out, weekend, turn up, turn up, day in, day out, day in, day out, weekend, turn up, turn up, uh, family day, mm, back to work, family day, mm, back to work, seven days straight, tired as hell, sleep, back to work, mm, turn up, turn up, trip over here, trip over there, shop, 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 blow, 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 do, 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 no damn plan. What kind of life, what the, what kind of life was that? That's exactly what I was doing. It was just a non-stop, and on the outside, it looked amazing. Keisha making money, Keisha doing this, Keisha doing that. Listen, don't let, listen, 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 listen. Was I making a lot of money? Yup. My expenses were just, at high, just as high as the money that I was making. I, I was able to help people. I was shopping. I was kicking it. I had nice experiences. Oh, the life is amazing. Steakhouses and chow. I'm very champagne-like. Please don't get it twisted. I love everything luxury, right? But... And I ain't talking about no Louis Vuitton purse either, because I don't think that that's a luxury. That's just a nice bag. Like I'm talking, like I like to go for some stuff, other stuff, right? And I'm doing, I'm blowing all my hard-earned cash, and I'm in the grind. I'm grinding. I'm in the hustle. I'm in the hustle. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Tired as hell. Look up. No money. I made a lot of money, and I spent more money every month than I made, even at six figures. Can you imagine blowing hundred thousand dollars a year? I can. So, so li literally it was to the point where every day I'm like, today the bill was $1,000. Every day. Every day. Like, who does, like, even this week, in the past week, my expenses, three grand. Like, now that was, there's, those are allocated thousands, right? But just to, exi like, just the, the more money you make, you're going to have, it, it's not about, you could be a hairdresser that makes money, but if you don't have the systems, if you don't have the systems in place, how can we grow this and make it a sustainable business? And that is what I was obsessed with. Thank you, Lewis is not the top notch. I'm quite proud of you and your drive, Lakeisha. Lewis is not the top notch. What is Lewis? You're welcome. Thank you. Raquel says, I'm driving and my kids are learning about the biz on Bluetooth. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So listen, all I'm saying is you have to have self-discipline in order to get your vision to come to pass. You have to. It's non-negotiable. 
There's a lot of disciplines to have, but you have to have self-discipline. So listen, what you're going to do is examine your vision, examine your vision, and understand whatever you have going on in your business has to be governed by you. You're the CEO. So you have to look at every single section of your business. I'm going to give you some generic sections just to kind of come go over so you can just to get your mind going this evening when you get off of the Facebook and YouTube live, just to get your mind going. I'm going to give you some questions that you should really ask as far as your discipline is concerned. And then I'm going to give you a fun homework assignment. I love this homework assignment. It is so fun because you get to look up your favorite people, right? So listen, let me just be clear on what we've covered so far. A dream says, I want to be a hairdresser, right? That's a dream. One day I want to be a singer. One day I want to lose weight. One day, that's just, that's a hope. It's a want. It's a dream, right? You want more than a dream. You want a vision. A vision is so, a vision is your future. You speak it in your present tense. So a vision says, I just wrote this out for you guys. And this is just something just to give you an example um, a vision says, I am a hairdresser that specializes in helping women look and feel amazing inside and out. I am confident, honest, trustworthy. I am impactful. I, ma I am a master at my craft. I am on time. I am dedicated. I am a leader. And I help empower women to live and love themselves unapologetically. I provide them with outstanding services and products, events, education so that they're empowered to change their life and their corner of the world that is a vision you could take that thing even deeper right because that's what you do in your business that's a vision for your business okay when you're looking at your life it's i live here for me it was i drive a job i literally was because listen i don't have any children i know what i wanted to be able to do for my family i know what i want to you know make as a hairdresser so it's like, I knew those things, but the quality of my life was something that I, that's a value to me. So like I said, success for you is different. I can't tell you what your vision is because it wasn't given to me. Oh, let me get to that one because I'm, I'm about to dig in on that one right there. But for me, just for example, my vision was all the way down to, I drive a drop top Jeep Wrangler. I live across the street from the ocean. I can do and travel anywhere that I want. I can work from wherever. I, I literally have grace and ease with traveling, with my schedule. There's flexibility. Like I literally, I can just dictate. I want to be in complete control and wake up and create. I want, if I want to do piano lessons for six weeks straight and not talk to y'all on social media, I can do that, right? So I needed to create that life for myself. And that's what, that's what I get to do now, right? So it wasn't until I got really, really specific on what the day would look like. I wake up, I work out, I go to my rooftop, I can have dinner with my friends up there, I can go down and go mingle with, with the public and whatever. Like literally, I painted all those things. And I didn't even know how I was going to get it. I was like, I don't care. Who cares? I'm just about to write the vision and make it real, real plain. And the funny thing is, guess what? Every time we think whatever we thought we could do and then we do it, we're like, shoot, I could have did better. If I had to know what I know now, trust me when I tell you, you have to dream big. You have to vision big because you are, you literally are like in control of your life. Like you design it. I just feel like it's in my mind. I just, I'm like the painter, the canvas is blank and I get to just say where I'm going to be, how I'm going to be there who I'm going to work with, mark my word. I know that I got my, my musical vision. I know what DJs I want to work with, Calvin Harris, David Guetta. Like, I don't know how, Neo, I don't know how and when. Don't care, Pitbull, don't care. Y'all going to look up and say, that damn Keisha, that singing hairdresser, <laughs> it's going to happen. And I can say that with you. I don't feel, any, I don't feel stupid. I don't feel, it took me a long time to get to that point. Because when I first started writing my vision, what's going to come up for you is, Am I good enough? Who am I to say that? I don't have a record deal. Oh my God, I'm not the typical person. They're not gonna like, like for me, it was, I was like, are they gonna like my little natural, I can't fit my natural hair. Oh my God, like my skin's too dark. Cause so many people in the industry told me, oh, we don't brown girls, mm, brown girl. I was like, what the hell? Who says this stuff out loud? Man, so then I had all these things that I was saying, nobody's gonna buy my music. And now this weekend, I'm literally 
singing all weekend, selling CDs all weekend. And it like, I, I live this, this shirt, this, this company, Life on Fire, that was written for a company. I write songs for companies. Like I get to do everything that I love. I don't have to choose. Now, pause, we're gonna get to that later this week about distraction. There was an order. In order for me to get to everything I get to do now, I had to stop being all over the place and get a damn vision and start where I was, blow that thing out the water, max it out like I talked about earlier, get to level two, max it out, get to level three, max it out. Some of you guys aren't willing to be maxed out at your level. You want to just wake up and be social media famous, wake up and have a book full of clientele. You want to go to work and just and post a YouTube video and wait for people to come. Get, like there's such a, there's so many strategies that have to be in place. So the self-discipline factor is insane because without it, literally without the self-discipline, nothing's going to happen. You're just still wishing stuff. So vision, your vision is a statement about your future. I am this. I am, I am, I am. I am, I am, I am. I am, I am, I am. Even if you don't feel like you're enough, still say it, I am. Even if you don't feel like you're enough, still say it, I am, X, Y, Z. Even if you don't feel like you're enough, still say it, I am, I do, I drive, I take these vacations, I, like, you have to state it. Design your life, design your life. And your hairdressing business can literally give you the life of your dreams. This is a billion dollar industry. It ain't going nowhere. It doesn't crash when everything else crashes. I'm in this thing. How about you? If you're not making six figures, you should be. It's possible. Okay? You have to think outside of what you're seeing. You have to think outside of what you're seeing. And when you can't see what you can't see, get somebody that's already done it and that can tell you proven steps because of their self-discipline. You can't get to all these great things without self-discipline, guys. Even the most drunk artist has a certain self-discipline when it comes to the art. And they get to accomplish amazing things. So your homework for number one. You guys, your homework for number one. Homework, homework. I love homework. I'm such a nerd. I loved homework in school. It always made me so happy. Like, I don't know. I just love it. Oh, Louis Vuitton. Oh, the Nina. <laughs> Louis Vuitton is at the top of lunch. You know, I just say because it's trendy. I don't follow that stuff because they ain't paying me to brand them. I'd rather wear a hat with my name on it than Louis, Balenciaga, all of whoever the hell. Mm. They're, they're kind of, I'm not that. I, people think I'm that chick, but I'm not. Mm. I'd rather not my money like that. This happens to me daily. Everyone, I take a step. Everyone, I take a step towards my goal. And every time it does, I'm straightened to take one more step. Knees trembling. Right. Just keep pushing. I love it. Hey, Valerie. I'm feeling your energy. I'm so excited about getting my life in order, self-discipline. I love it, Antoinette. You guys, if you, let's see, Valerie says, yes, very good info. Thank you, Sheree. Listen, if you have been watching the CEO Styles and doing the homework, I promise you, it will change you. Like, I don't do this as some sneaky thing. I have a course. I want you to be in my course. My goal is to empower 75,000 hairdressers in the entrepreneurial mindset. That is my goal. So I've created courses in education and I'm inviting you to a course that is in like literally like it's not open. You can't just go by next week. We start on this Monday. I'm inviting you to play with me for 30 days. I'm inviting you to play with me for 30 days in a private mastermind membership. And literally I'm going to teach you how to create systems, how to get the outcome that you want from your business. How to design the life that you love using the hairdressing chair as your means to get there. As your means to get there. If you have tried to inbox me on Facebook, just hit me up. Facebook, inbox me, or you can email LakeishaMichelle at gmail.com. This is not something you just run to and everybody, this is not a trick. There are 20 slots, 20 slots only. This is not a trick. Last time we sold out so fast, and the rest of the days I was just turned down people on email. So... Listen, don't inbox me and say, I don't know if it's worth it. It's worth it. I got there. No, if you have that mindset, I need you to go back to vision. I need you to go back to like power positive thinking. Like you can't come in there with that negative. You can be scared. You have permission to be scared. You have permission to say, I'm scared, but I want to do this, Keisha. That's cool. But to say, girl, it's the first of the month. I'm sorry. If you want to change your life, then you can change it. And I invite you to come and play with us, our my game changing crew. Like I literally have them doing challenges where they go back and get the money that they already spent on this class. 
So if you're like, if you about it, this is I'm trying to create some about it, vision, impactful, empowering hairdressers that want to change this planet. We have so much power and it not, it's not an emotional thing. It's not a joke. Literally, you do the hair for Rihanna. You do the hair for Michelle Obama. You do the hair for all these people that the world looks up to. We're powerful. We're so freaking powerful. We empower women and men before they go out. Lakeisha says, it's, Valerie says it's worth it. She is talking the truth. Thank you, Valerie. Like, and it's a slow price. 367, one time fee. If you need to make two payments, that's cool. It's so easy to like get in there and get your money back. The whole thing, you hold yourself back. So if you don't get your money back, it's because of you. It's not because this is a sneak trick, faulty information, or anything like that. So if you want more details on what that curriculum looks like, just inbox me. Don't wait. Don't hesitate. If you're nervous and you don't know, inbox me and I will reach back out to you. So listen, dreams are broad. They're fun. Anything is possible. But a vision is a declaration for your future. I am. Make sure that you put it next to vision. I am. And also... Vision is seeing your future before you have the ability to. So remember, all the stuff you're going through, you're currently in the negative, you're currently broke, you're cur all that stuff right here, don't, you have to see past that, right? Even though there's nothing there to show you because faith is what? Evidence in the, like you, you have faith in things that are not seen. You have no evidence, right? You have no evidence that's going to happen, but you have faith in it anyway. And that's what a vision is. Vision is stating your future before you have the ability. It's specific to you. So somebody else can't be talking about your vision. You don't get your vision and go ask somebody what they think. Um, let, let me say that. Let me say that again. You don't get your vision about who you are and how you gonna like what you're gonna do, rock your side of a planet. You don't get to create and paint your vision and then ask someone what it is, like what they think. Like, what do you girl, what you think? You think I'll be able to, well, girl, my vision is, I really want to, what do you think? It wasn't given to them. They're not going to see it. Because remember, your vision is something that you can't see. It's in your future. It's, it's not, there's nothing in front of you that says it could happen, but you hold on to it anyway. Go listen to Rocky, the guy from the Rocky movies. This dude held on to the vision. He lost everything. He lost everything. He had to sell his dog, but he kept the vision. People told him he was crazy. He lost his woman. He was homeless. He kept the vision, and it finally hit big. And when it hit, oh boy, what, they got like seven Rocky movies now? Don't ask nobody about your vision. Be committed to your vision. Don't ask them about it. It's not their dream. It's not their vision. They can't see it. They'll never see it. It wasn't given to them. I need you guys to understand that. Somebody said the last time that they joined my group, they said their friend was like, she just trying to sell something, girl, please. She jumped in the class, made her money back that week. I had a conversation with her, told her how to go get her money. She jumped in the class, made her money back that week. And every week since then, she's had breakthroughs. Her mindset, learning how to handle her numbers, learning YouTube, creating videos. Like literally, she's changing her whole life by herself i'm just giving her some resources right she's changing her life but if she had to listen to her friend, somebody did, i forgot to put my phone on silent if she had to listen to her friend who told her that i'm just a salesman hell yeah i'm selling stuff first of all y'all are crazy hairdressers are salesmen hairdressers sell stuff that's what we do for a living we sell a service her friend probably sitting on her couch broke no shade to your friend but it just is what it is people like that are like negative so listen when your vision is yours it's clear you've created it it's not for you to go announce and, and look for validation you don't need to validate that i don't ask nobody how i'm gonna work with david getter and neo right kim invest in yourself that's the best investment that you can make so listen your vision is the informant and we're gonna get tomorrow it's all about how to take what you in what you vision for your company, what you envision for your company, for your business, and go ahead and start to create the new version of the business that you are going to love working in. Okay? So for tonight, remember when I said self-discipline attracts people. Like the fact that I did hair at 5 a.m., 
it attracted my ideal business corporate woman. They loved it. They would brag to their friends, uh, Keisha don't be doing that late night stuff. Keisha be up early. Keisha do this. Keisha do this. It just became a thing because they were so attracted to the fact that I wasn't coming in at six saying I do hair at five. I was there, up, ready, crunk, makeup on. It's amazing how many women are be like, this girl got on makeup at 5 a.m. Like, who does that? I'm committed. I'm so dedicated. I'm so about my vision. And my vision is to work certain hours and have a certain lifestyle. So, girl, please, I'm here happy. Hey, good morning. Come on in. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. The boot camp is 367. So, listen, it's 30 days, 20 slots only, 20 slots only, 30 days. If you're interested, inbox me. Hey, Barbara, if you're interested. So, a lot of you guys hit me up last time we closed this four weeks ago. And you're like, oh, my God, I missed it. Oh, my God, I want to be in. Oh, my God, is it still any slots available? It's open. This week only, this week only, there are 20 slots. I haven't counted. There's not 20, but I'm going to say 20 right now. Some people in my inbox, I need to send you guys invoices. It's coming. So, listen, you want to get in. This is a 30-day boot camp. There are going to be marketing. We deep dive into marketing. We deep dive into figuring out what your ideal customer is, what they want, how you get them, how you manage the money, how you go out and have conversations that turn to cash, how you use YouTube to attract your ideal customers. You get so much for 367, it's insane. You will not regret this investment. Angela, I love it. Angela's in the group. I don't pay my, 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 my those are my ride or dies. I don't pay them. They just, they want to change their life and they do. And they do the work. Angela says, you will not regret this investment. I love it. And so it's, it's a business course for hairdressers. This is not a trendy marketing and branding day course. So now what that is, we dig deep, we get into the meat. My mentors who are, they create million dollar businesses for other brands. They look, they were like, Keisha, your curriculum is excellent. Like, I don't just do this and hope that it works or whatever. I'm giving you proven systems. If you want to change your business, if you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, if you know you want to have a different life, I'm telling you, I can tell you how to create that for yourself. And no matter where you are, we have people who, can't, who, are not, who don't even have customers yet. We have people who, have, who already have six figures, but there were no systems. So they need to learn the systems part. They wanted to learn the YouTube. We have people who are like, they can't work right now, but they just wanted to get the information so that when they get back, they start right instead of starting wrong and then having to come back and undo all those habits. The CEO stylist is for the hairdresser who wants to work on their business. They're sick and tired of just making it a hustle. They want to turn it into a business. They want to be able to strategically grow their business. They want to be the CEO of their life. They want to create the life that they love. They want to live in certain places. They want to be able to afford the lifestyle of their dreams using the business to get to the vision. Using the business to get to the vision. Some of you guys are in at work hoping things will change. Hoping for one day a change going to come like that song. That's not how you get there. You don't get there on hope. You get there with a plan. And so that's what we go over. Your vision is the informant. It is the informant. It's right up here. And it's always telling you as you go out through your day, mm -mm, that don't match your vision. Mm -mm, that don't match your vision. Mm -mm. You need to step up that self-discipline. You little late. Mm, you look a mess. Do you match your vision? The life that you want, are you even, do you look appropriate to attract it? The clientele that you want. Every, listen. I don't care if you at your son baseball game. I don't care if you just ran to the corner store real quick. I don't, you like, you gotta be in alignment. You have to walk in alignment. When you walk in alignment with your vision for your life, it's so powerful. Oh my gosh, it's so powerful. So listen, it's seeing your future before you have the ability to see what's gonna happen. You get to do that, guys. Isn't it empowering to know that you get to create the life that you want? It's not up to circumstance, happenstance, maybe one day I dream. It's literally strategic, and I have strategies. The boot camp is 367. You guys, this course will be 997 when we're maxed out of our beta testing, which is like the test group, just because we want to make sure that this is like insane. We want a high number of testimonials. We already have um, a high number of testimonials. We already have so many people that have gotten value. The... the, the <laughs> The course is digital. You can start it whenever you want, but it is, you get all the replays if you can't watch class. We have class every Monday 
for four weeks and there are questionnaires and things that, that help you dissect your business. We figure out where you are and where you want to go. It's a literally like a business course for hairdressers. Okay. Your life can change. Everything can change like tomorrow. That's the power of literally you can go out tomorrow with the information that I teach you and people in my group have done it going out tomorrow and changing their life, like literally going to get more money because at the end of the day, the problems you have is because of lack of finances. So you're like, oh shoot, I can't move the way I want to. And I'm so tired when I get off work and I'm burnt out. I don't really know what direction I want to go in. All of those things are happening and you're trying to grow a business, right? It, is, it doesn't happen by itself. You have to be intentional. And you have to take, literally, take the time to work on your business. And you want to have someone, a mentor, a friend, a coach. You want to have someone to help you guide and navigate the conversation. You also want to be in a group of people who are positive. So sometimes your environment is just not positive. Sometimes you need to hear and see that you're not alone. That you're not the only one going through this. Like, okay, I'm not crazy. I can still think I'm not enough, but go for my goals and my dreams and my vision. I can still go for it. I can still be strategic and, and set outcomes and I understand how to achieve it. Literally. I love teaching in such a way that it just goes, oh wow, I can't do this. And I love those reactions. I teach like that on purpose when I'm in the course. Okay? The course is 367. 367, make it happen. Go borrow, go, go. Not borrow like, you know, ask the uncle. $300, guys, that's like five people in the salon. If that. But, you know, give yourself five people. Go book a weed for $250 and come up with the other half. Like, go get creative. Book, go right now, tomorrow, tonight, and book you some relaxers. Relaxers, hopefully you're doing a relaxer at, at not $50. You're doing it for $70. Right? What is it? 75 times four people? Go book four relaxers. Give them a free haircut if they book a relaxer. Go get the money. Go get the money. If you want the vision, you got to be aggressive. You can't be like, ooh, girl, it's first of the month. Holla back. Bye, you're not a candidate. Bye. No. We need game changers who are excited and sick and tired of being sick and tired and want to change their life and strategically do it. It's not a dream. It's not a pipe thing like untouchable. It's not magic. You literally can change your life. So listen, your first homework assignment. Where my little notes go? Your first homework assignment is looking at your business, looking at your business and your life because you're a whole, you're not two different people. You are one person looking at your business and your life. I love it, Barbara. Look at your self-discipline. Resend that link, please. Got it. Urbane Boozer. Um, if you guys want me to send you a link, make sure, email LakeishaMichelle at gmail.com or go to my Facebook and inbox me. Lakeisha Michelle, everything on the internet is Lakeisha Michelle. Inbox me on Facebook or um, LakeishaMichelle at gmail.com for the class sign up, okay? This is, this is, just do it like that. So listen, um, your homework, looking at your life and your business, what are the areas that you lack discipline? Be really honest and don't beat yourself up. This is not time to beat yourself up. What are the areas that you lack and love? So lack, L-A-C-K. What areas could you do better? Are you on time? How are you dressing? Do you wake up and, put, give, and, and pour into yourself before you go pour out to other people? Like, how are you disciplined and it works and how does it not work? Do you pull up to work late and still sit in your car on the phone for 20 minutes talking about it's work, I gotta, I gotta take this. And your client is sitting there. Like, are, what are the ways that you are disciplined? Are you on time? Are you bright? Are you, are you mentally prepared to serve, to serve? Are you like making sure that you give people a coaster when they're drinking? Are you making sure that the music sets the environment? Are you making sure that your breath don't stink? Okay, let's just be real. Vision and discipline go all the way, all the way down to the details. Do you go outside and smoke and come back here and you, you smell like smoking cigarettes standing over your customer? Do you have on a sleeveless shirt but you musty? Like, this, discipline is real. Y'all might be laughing, right? This is real life. Like, did you brush your teeth today? I'm just saying. You in somebody's face, but did you brush your teeth? This is real life. This is discipline. Does your discipline need some tuning? You have to be OCD. In order, you want to be great. You want to be outstanding. You want to be magnificent. You guys are laughing. 
<laughs> this is serious. I'm so anal. Like, if everybody, they come to my house and they be like, you crazy. Like, why is your house, like, why? I, I am. Like, I am this way because I know where my life is headed and things must align now. You don't take this course after you get your money right. You don't take this course after you figure it out. You don't take this course after, after, when I get this right. Kanye West made a song, wait till I get my money right. That's a joke. He's being sarcastic. Because that, that's like, that's the shit that people say when they know they're not about to do nothing. But they feel bad, so they be like, I'm going to do that one day. Because um, you're scared of losing $300 up front to get knowledge that teaches you. I'm not giving you fish. I'm teaching you how to fish so you will never be hungry as long as you have self discipline so homework number one is writing down what areas do you love what areas are you disciplined in right now in your life and in your business so for me i love i'm, I'm disciplined in on on the the personal side i'm disciplined you know my fitness my health my my self my uh self-development like like i just certain things my work my schedule like i just I'm disciplined in it. I'm like a robot. I do it to the point where people are like, all you do is work. I love this. I love this. I love this. Y'all know them little rap songs. I don't be knowing them all, but I love it. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. So I'm very disciplined in like whatever. Are there areas? I'm not perfect at it. No, I can always up and notch, right? But I love certain things about my work day, certain things about like, uh, there, there's just there's self-discipline. And then there's other areas where I realized after doing this homework, that I need to hire someone because I don't even want to be self-disciplined. I need to hire. The discipline is me to hire and stop trying to do it all. Ooh. Somebody needs to hear that. Somebody need to get an assistant. Somebody. Somebody need an assistant. I ain't the only one. Somebody's trying to be Superman, Superwoman. And if you do this homework, you're going to realize that you need an assistant. So let's go to the, like, let's literally, like, uh, it doesn't have to be somebody need a trainer. Your self-discipline in your fitness category of as a person, it ain't, stop trying to figure it out. It doesn't make any sense. Go get a freaking trainer, right? Stop trying to clean your house during times when you should be marketing your business. Go get a housekeeper. I got two. Stop trying to do all these different things. And hey, buddy, you watching? Stop trying to do all these different things, and you can outsource. Yo, I was literally thinking a while ago, I was like, okay, I got to get this girl. <coughs> There's someone that I want to just, I want to be able to just have her. So then I was like, I need to set a number goal and set the vision because I want her, I want to replace her salary. Ooh, that's good. I was like, I, and it's not no, like, I'm not trying to be, like, I was like, I want to replace her salary because I need her with me. I just need her with, not with me physically, but like, I need to be able to call you and, and that's it. I just need to have you right there. So you, because I just, I, there are certain things that I don't have the discipline in. I don't want to have the discipline in. I need a, the discipline for me is to get the person to do the job. Mm. I wouldn't have known if I didn't assess my discipline level. Okay. I'm just saying in your business, you say you want to make X amount of dollars, but looking at your discipline where you are really good and where you're not will show you what you should do more of, what you should do less of, what you should stop doing all together, what you should hire a coach for. It will tell you, but you have to actually sit down and look and say, where am I really, really good disciplined at? Where am I, what am I good at? Am I, I I'm good at getting, getting to work on time. I'm good at that. What I'm not good at is managing each client time. I'm in here talking to this lady too much and it's throwing off my, like literally discipline will show you. I'm not disciplined in getting people in and out. <clears throat> I'm not disciplined at you. I mean, you just go down the list. I'm not disciplined um, enough to, you know, put my money in the right place. I'm not disciplined at saving my money. I'm not disciplined at, I don't know. You, like you go through and look and see. Jessica says, yes. And listen, I do. you could be an esthetician, nail tech. We got those in the CEO styles as well. This is for cosmetologists. Okay. So go through and see, like, really, guys, if you do the work, I swear, I swear, I swear. Somebody just emailed me the other day. They never, they never, um, never saw me, never met me. They just did the work from the CEO stylist free videos. And they called me and said, Keisha, all right, Keisha, I'm already making more money. The information changed my life. I don't even know who they are. Never seen them. They only saw me on a video. If you do the free work, I'm begging you to do the free work. And I want you to do your homework because I'm going to ask how you did it. 
we switched the time up today so y'all a little more quiet because we know i normally do mornings i think my audience just likes mornings which i like mornings too so we're gonna be back on the morning but or else because i would be asking you guys did you do your homework last night right so today making sure that you look at your self-discipline thank you for sharing the stream look at your self-discipline personally and in your business what does the, i'll get to that in a second jessica personally and in the business okay and then i want you to look at your favorite icon look at your favorite and i hate the word icon because you don't i don't like the glorified person so much that sounds like you worship them but look at your favorite person look at my, like for me michael jackson pat labelle aretha franklin um beyonce uh brian mcknight uh, Bruno Mars, I know their shows in and out. I watch Whitney Houston, duh, my favorite. I watch their interviews behind the scenes. I watch all the behind the scenes interviews like crazy. Number two, I want you guys to spend the night, turn the freaking TV off. That shit is whack. Like, stop looking at who got died, who dead, who shot, who. Stop looking at that. Stop looking at Trump crazy, but don't look at that. Don't turn on that. Don't turn on some, some movie that make you wish you had a man or a life. These housewives and all this stuff, turn that mess off. Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Turn it off and look at your business and look at your life. So if everybody was working every single day and night, chipping away at their personal and business development, holy cow, we could change the freaking planet. My vision is to touch 75,000 hairdressers, make them entrepreneurial minded, make them CEOs of their business and of their life, make them understand that they can control and they can grow their business. Okay, that's my goal. I need y'all to do this homework. I need y'all to do this homework because it's insanely powerful when you sit back and you say, oh man, it's so powerful for me to know that I'm growing and I just don't have the discipline to do certain things because I need to stay in creative. So I need people. And so to get them people, I got to change my numbers from operating a certain way to grow big. Like it's just, it's just a part of the game. I wouldn't know that if I wasn't constantly working on my business and constantly doing a pulse check on myself and on my business. Okay. So that's homework. Number one, Home number two is doing the going, go to YouTube and literally go to YouTube, search your favorite person. So if it's Beyonce, don't go search Beyonce concert. You don't see her twerking 50 times. Oh boy, I look like it like what you see. We already seen that. Mm, 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 mm. We already seen that. We know that. We know how to pop it. We know. We get it. We got that. Right? So listen. We got that. But what you need to look at is her rehearsals. Look at her behind the scenes. Look at what it takes to put the show on. If you watch Beyonce's behind the scenes, she'll say, I don't sleep. I'm not sleeping until this is right. She, even though she's the boss, she literally is like, nope, I don't sleep. That light ain't right. Oh, that curtain doesn't match the vision. That light doesn't match my vision. She's so clear. It's insane. Oh my God, I need you to go look at Beyonce behind the scenes. Like, it's insane the amount of detail. She doesn't, she watches every show afterwards and goes, change that, do that, change, I gotta change that vocal, I gotta, she's constantly adjusting, how do I get better, day in and day out, she's hungry for it, it's never boring because she's constantly adjusting, she's constantly working on the business as much as, if not more, that she, because we see a show for two hours that took two years to create, come on, man, did you hear that, we see a show for two hours that took two years to create. We see a show that Beyonce puts on for two hours that took two years to create. And the entire time they're creating, she's looking at every detail, the lights, the curtains, the candle on the stage, the dancer's hair, the dancer's makeup, the dancer's shoes, her hair, her makeup. She's managing, so, she's being a mother, a wife, a daughter, a friend, a cousin, a sister. She's managing so much. The amount of discipline that it takes to see this through, to be the number one artist, like the amount of discipline it takes is insane. I admire it. But when I watch that, I, I, I just go, I have no, why would I ever complain? Like what? I don't get to complain like that. So guys, I really want you to do the homework. One, number one, make sure you go through and write out Make sure you go through and write out your discipline that you love on yourself, like the self-discipline that you love, and then you're gonna write out 
the things that you just, I ain't got no discipline in that. Oh God, I'm so not disciplined to go to the gym. I'm so not disciplined at work. I don't show up on time. But I love how I am so disciplined in this area, that area. Look up the definition of discipline. Okay? Because guys, what you got to understand is my main point, discipline, discipline literally attracts people. So if you're not looking at all the areas that are lacking, you could be losing money. You could be losing people, friendships, business. And I'm not perfect. Like I'm, you, can't, you never stop doing this because as you're constantly evolving, you got to constantly be post checking. That's why I teach strategies to make sure you're constantly checking. You can even look, you can look at my, if I, if I look at my video when I first started my short hair online class, if I look at the very first one and then I look at what we're doing now, it's so interesting like to watch how things just got from this quality to good quality to the okay, like everything just, just change, it just evolves. I, I didn't get in it just to just do the same thing and kind of whatever. Things are evolving. Things are growing. We've had over 400 members of Short Hair Bootcamp Live. That was just a vision. I said, I wonder. And then I said, well, let me make a, let me make a, let me make a, a goal here. Let me set the intention. Let me set a vision. My vision is to be able to stop letting hairdressers get frustrated. Like, oh, they, I'm sick of them going to these classes and people are like halfway giving out information. Like, I literally got mad. And I told, I told my honey, I was like, look, I went to the, it was so funny. This was, I started this in 2014, I think. 2014, I went to a class and I was like, I said, I'm not going to another. That class cost me $500 and I ain't learned nothing. I was pissed. I wasn't really trying. I just wanted to see what was going on. And I was like, man, like, yo, I made a lot of money. And this person is talking to me like they're better than me. And they're also like not trying to share this and not trying to share that because they talking about Every little day, it was so I didn't, it didn't feel good. And I said, I don't want to do hairdressers like that. I'm sick, and I knew the technique. I just went just so I can continue my education, make sure I ain't missing nothing. Because I go to anybody's class to support them, not because I want to go steal their content. Some people be trying to steal, right? But I want to see, like, is there something like, you know, I want to learn? I get in there and I'm like, I'm watching people. They just as lost but inspired. There is no lack of inspiration. People just lost and inspired at the same damn time. How'd that work out? Isn't that funny? How you be like, oh, I'm so motivated by her story. And then you get home, you're like, but what am I supposed to do? I vowed to not leave people in that state of inspiration with no, they go home and they don't know what the hell they're doing. Because I'm on a rooftop, I'm a ball and hairdresser, and I'm, and I'm better than you. Like, I don't like that. So I started my class because I, I want to help hairdressers understand the short hair techniques that I know, that mastered, I mastered, and that have created a six-figure business for me. So that was my goal. That was my vision. And I started with my raggedy camera. I started being a roommate at somebody's house with like horrible Wi-Fi, horrible lighting. I just started where I was at. I started. Mm. And, and, and effed around and created a business. It's a business. It runs itself with minute management. Like, that's business strategy, right? And my ultimate goal, that was the vision for the customers. Then the ultimate goal was to let that business replace my salon. And then, boom, I got it both. I got it both. It's crazy. When you set the intention, and it, it's about the self-discipline, guys. Because you, this is so good to get ahead of San Diego. I love it. A leader doesn't need much self-discipline from the outside. Your main thing is what's on the inside. Okay? It's what's on the inside. Achieving your vision requires discipline. I cannot stress that enough. Y'all gonna be like, Keisha is damn discipline. Because it, it just it does. It does. And discipline, like I said, when you start to really look at, you say you want a husband, but you ain't disciplined in keeping your toes manicured. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, you're going to start being a manicured woman when the man come? You're not. You're going to start it and then you're going to stop. You can't say you want a husband. You can't say you want more money when you're not disciplined in the little bitty pennies. I know that story. Jesus Christ. So, like, you can't say you want all these things and you're not disciplined. Okay? The CEO stylist, what's in the group? Someone asked what's in the group. The CEO stylist is a 30-day course where I meet with you, we have class once a week, and throughout the week, we have homework assignments that further the conversations that we have in class. 
I give you the strategies and the tools so that you can grow your salon business. So we're talking about marketing and we're talking about finances and we're talking about powerful, I hate to say goal because goals are trendy, but it's, it's literally how to set an, an, a goal and get the outcome that you want. It's a surefire proof way. How to set your goal and get the outcome that you want. How to use YouTube to market your business. How to not live off of every single dime you make. How to pay yourself as an employee. How to know your numbers so that you can make sure you are making $2,000 a week. Okay? And, and here's the deal. You may be fresh out of school. Don't matter. You need the system to get there. Don't try to figure it out. Go, don't start the getaway and then come back. Start right. Man, everybody in the world would be healthy if our parents started feeding us the right from the beginning. You won't have, you won't have no diabetes. You won't have, so you have to understand the power of discipline. The things that you say you want, you don't start the discipline after. Serena did not win that game pregnant on accident. Her discipline, her body is so disciplined. Toya said, guys, if you're thinking about it, stop it. <laughs> Toya is a member. Listen, discipline is how Serena Williams won a game pregnant because her body is so conditioned. So what I teach you are strategies so that you can start to gain all these different techniques and grow your business. I ain't your God. I ain't your, I can't do it for you. I'm going to give you the tools. If you're ready to change your life, come pile at me. You can inbox me on Facebook at Lakeisha Michelle. Inbox me on Facebook or you can email me Lakeisha Michelle at gmail.com. Lakeisha Michelle at gmail.com. Some of you guys are holding on to that $300 like it's your last $300. So, all you have to do is inbox me. I get you guys. I get you guys in. I send you a link. You pay. You can pay in two payments if you need to this week. You can. Class starts on Monday. It starts on Monday. I'm looking for hairdressers who want to change their lives now. They're sick and tired of waiting. They want to turn their hustle into an actual business that grows strategically. That is what I'm helping hairdressers do. I'm more than happy to do it. I'm excited. Everyone in the group is having crazy breakthroughs. So he says, just do it. It's all worth it. Take it from me. Lakeisha's amazing. She's my coach. She's shelled me from relocating from Chicago to Dallas. Yeah. Toya's telling, she's like, Toya's right here. She's basically saying, Toya's been private coaching with me one-on-one. -on -one. She's in the CEO Stylist Mastermind. This course, which is 367. Look, go do some heads. Go ask your man. Go ask your mama. Go ask your daddy. Go ask your auntie. Go hustle. Get your money. Don't let money be an excuse. You will learn in this course that money is not, uh, there's no lack of it. You may not see it right now, but we're going to work on changing our mentalities. I'm going to give you guys the strategies so you can really understand where it's money's everywhere. What song was that? Money to be gotten. I'm going to get that ish because I'm on one. What song is that? Drake. I think that's Drake. I'm on one. Yes. Y'all better get on one. I can show you how to get the money. But it's, I mean, you got to give me some for my, for my time, for my knowledge. Because this is trust and tried and true strategy. It's not air. So if you want to join the CEO Stylist, we start class on Monday. You make your payments this week. You can break it up this week if you need to. And um, we jump into it 30 days starting Monday. You get the replays if you can't watch class. And I mean, it's like so simple. It's just literally business. You want to have a business? You want to be a six-figure stylist? Come holla at me. Come holla at me. And let's see. I see you guys. I see you guys inboxing. So I'm going to get to these inboxes and to these messages. Some of you guys have told me to invoice you, and I literally will be doing that right after this stream. There are only 20 slots. There are only 20 slots, and we're just taking a few people at a time, and we're making this thing uh, sing and hum and be beautiful. I asked everybody and got the money. I'm ready. I love, look at Constance. Look at Constance. I love it. Constance, I guarantee you're going to make your money back. I guarantee you you're going to make your money back. You remind me of one of the other members who just did the same thing. You're going to make your money back. Like, and I don't even know how to say nothing other than I just know she's going to make her money back. The end. And it's not even about making the immediate money back, guys. It's about the knowledge that you get that's going to change your life. This stuff is going to change your life. It's literally going to change your life. You are going to be able to take the tools, take the message, and grow your business to a six-figure business and live where you want. Drive what you want. Build off of your salon business and create the other ventures. A lot of you guys want to be more than just behind the chair. A lot of you guys want to 
do so many other things, bake cakes and, and like write books and all of that. Shh, we got it. The, the, the avenues in the past and the opportunities are there. The resources are everywhere. There's no lack of resources. What's the lack of is you are holding yourself back and you need to say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Be scared even when you say yes, say yes. Whatever you're scared of, do it anyway. Okay? So don't look at the, the, the immediate loss of $367. I understand you have to climb mountains. You got to push, break, try to bust through some doors. You got to go borrow. You got to go speak to somebody you ain't spoke to in a while. You got to do whatever you got to do to get in that spot. I get it. I'm grateful. But I'm not like blinking about it because I know the value of the information. Literally, you will learn how to fish and you will never lose that skill. So no matter where you are, no matter what business you go to, you will be successful when you apply the principles that I'm going to teach you. So that's what the CEO stylist is. I'm so excited to, um, to meet everyone, all the new members. So excited to meet the new members. Um, I see you guys here. I'm going to go ahead and get to these invoices. Do your homework. Homework is, remember, do your homework. The homework is one Write out the things that you are very, like your self-disciplined areas. When personally, the areas that you are just so self-disciplined. Y'all, I be going personal and business because you're one person. So like, I, I just use this as an example for fun. But if you say you want a husband, a man, or somebody to look at you, but you look like a bum daily, you're not self-disciplined in that area, right? So that's, so that's a, you write it down, not to get mad at yourself, not to beat yourself up, but to let yourself know like, ooh, I need to work on that. Like I gotta, let me get the strategy. Let me figure out what I got to do. And we work through that. We learn how to do that. But for right now, I just need you to post check and see where you are. So look at yourself and look at your business. Two different columns. Write out the areas that you are self-disciplined and that you're not in both categories of personal and business. What are the areas that you are self-disciplined and the areas that you're not? Okay? That's um, your homework number one. And number two, have some fun. Cut everything off and go watch the behind the scenes, the interviews of what it took. <clears throat> for people like Beyonce, Michael Jackson, Tiger Woods, go watch their interviews and their behind the scenes because you're going to be able to see a level of self-discipline that's insane. Go watch Serena Williams behind the scenes. You're going to be like, oh my gosh. Everything that, that looks amazing, all that stuff you see them doing, it's so much about how clear their vision was and the discipline that they implemented into their everyday single life. They, Michael Jackson did not wait until he was the world's greatest to like learn how to moonwalk. He didn't wait until he was the world's greatest to learn how to hit them. <laughs> he did not wait until he was the world's greatest to start everything that he was. Okay? Hell, still is today. He started before he knew. He started before there was a sign. He started with what he had. He started with the way that he looked. He started like he literally had doubt and self-talk and whatever. And even though he was transitioning in the way he looked and everybody could see you changing your skin color, did that stop that man? Nope. He stuck to his self-discipline. And, and I'm really not trying to throw no shade. On the real though, this man changed his whole... We, you went from black to white and we still was like, well, he's still the bomb. Like the discipline never went anywhere. Nothing. His vision is so strong. Even when he was doubting himself. He stuck to the vision and the self-discipline that it took to get to the points that he, that he got to cross over. It's just so insane. So listen, listen, I want you guys to do the homework tonight and really, 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 really get clear. Okay? I'm begging you guys to get clear. Do the homework. We're going to meet tomorrow at 10 a.m. 10 a.m., 10 a.m., 10 a.m. tomorrow, PST, Pacific, specific time, Pacific time. <laughs> tomorrow, 10 a.m., 10 a.m. We'll meet tomorrow and we'll, meet and we'll go back over everything. And I'd love to hear what you guys are discovering. So inbox me your, your aha moments from today. Share the stream so someone else can hear the content. And also, if you're interested in signing up for the CEO Stylist, inbox me. Inbox me. If you're watching the replay, send me an inbox. Lakeisha Michelle at gmail.com and on Facebook you can just inbox me and we'll get you all together. I'll get you all the details. We can chat it out and see if it's a good fit for you. All right. 
Thank you guys for your time. I love you guys pouring into me and feeding back and giving me comments. I love all the things that you're sending me. I love it. I love it. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for sharing the stream. Thank you for your energy. Thank you guys for playing full out when you come on these streams. I love it. I love it. So make sure you stay in contact with me. I love to hear from you. Thank you guys for your time. I am Lakeisha Michelle. I will see you guys tomorrow, 10 a.m. We may do earlier, but for now, it's 10 a.m. PST. If something changes, I'll let you know. 10 a.m. Cali time. So Google where your city is and what time that is. And I will see you guys right back here on the live. Holla. Thank you, Deborah. Bye, guys.